they're a team that's dangerous in transition, uh, and, and we did a solid job of handling that. Uh, and so now we turn it around and play them, you know, in a, in a, under different circumstances uh, on Wednesday, obviously, Open Cup and, and now a night game. Uh, you know, a lot of the ball. Uh, and, uh, you know, as I said, now it's just that pure ability to find the, the, the way to make a real chance. You know, a couple times, for example, Latif's on the left, and uh, he's got a moment to try to be on the move going, going toward the goal. And his timing, uh, the, the quality of the pass, so that, that doesn't always come off as, as much as it should. Uh, with Latif and Diego, you know, our ability to get them not just the ball at their feet, but to get them the ball where they're on the move so that um, they're not trying to uh, dribble from a standstill. So certainly that at times could have been better. Uh, you know, uh, if, if there is some space just on the outside of the three midfielders uh, and now we've got a player who's, who's found that spot, our ability to maybe get the ball to him faster. So sometimes we knew, whether it's Lee or Carlos, that they've – They've waited patiently to be in that spot, but then if it takes two or three passes to get it there, those passes gotta gotta move a little quicker so that uh, by the time you get it, maybe you've got a little more of an advantage. Uh, the one good chance in the first half uh, with Dio first on the cross, and then when it came back to him on the shot, uh, that's that's different because they took off on the counter and we won the ball, so we could kind of counter their counter, and then they're not as organized defensively. So. You know, those are those are the little things that, that come into play in a game like that. Um, so we we always look at the the things that we need to do better and and, and our ability to create big chances uh, for, for and make a goal. Yeah, that's that's for sure. That's where we uh, weren't quite good enough on the night, on the day. I should. There's a big difference between day and night, as you know. It's, uh, so on the day. Hey, Bob. Uh, Wait till Kevin gets back. He always wants the first question. So, <laughs> None of you guys like to step up when he's not here, but go for it, Alex. Um, you know, once Lee was off, yeah. the game really felt like it was on a knife's edge. It could have gone either way. And I mm -hmm. saw you shouting instructions. Um, in that moment, were you encouraging formation-wise or otherwise your team to go out to try to win the game, to try sure. to protect, or a little bit of both? And how does that play into you know how, how you guys are going to approach the game Wednesday knowing that there has to be a winner of that game versus today that could have ended in a draw. Yeah, I mean, look, we, we'll, we'll look back on today and, and think through then what might change on, on Wednesday. But when we went down a man, uh, we had both Marcos and Dio on the field, so we left them as strikers. Uh, Carlos and Latif tucked in closer to Mark Anthony. So defensively at times, I guess it, it would look like a 4-3-2. But... Uh, in attack, we still wanted Carlos to be moving forward, Latif to be moving forward, and, and then we felt that we could still handle things with uh, the other five. So we were still looking for ways to uh, create chances. Uh, remind me, Carlos's header uh, was when we're down a man, yeah? So that's a very good chance, obviously, where, you know, you can, you can win a game late with a great opportunity, you know, some good buildup and a good play. Um, but yeah, I thought our ideas when we went down a man were fine. Uh, Bob, uh, you had uh, 11 corners today. The stat sheet reads, um, mm -hmm. and on them in those plays, I saw a lot of sw balls swung into the middle, mm -hmm. but not too much um, productivity from all of those chances, and a lot of opportunity for Portland to counter off of those. What did you see on the corner play, and? Um, just what did you see in terms of creativity and what would you like to see done better? Did they really get a chance in transition off a corner? I don't think so. So maybe, maybe your memory is better than mine, but I don't think so. So maybe it came out, but I don't think that, uh, and again, I'll, I'll, when I watch the game, see it many times, but I don't think that they got a big chance in transition off a corner. So, you know, we, we'll check the check as we, we watch. Um, they're physical. They hold a lot. Okay, and we have ideas on how we want to try to handle that. Uh, I thought that uh, Walker got into some good positions, got his head on some, but, but still they were able to uh, at times hold and grab in ways that, that we couldn't quite do enough with. Um, 
service, always the key. Uh, you know, if, if, if there was a one late where Carlos floated it in right to the keeper, so never going to create a chance that way. So we continue to work on different ideas. Um, I think that part actually is getting better. And, yeah, today when you have a tight game, uh, making a chance off a set piece is important, and uh, it's still an area where we have to improve. For today, we, we were focused on trying to uh, uh, do different things with the corners. So, you know, move around in different ways. Um, uh, the way we line up, if they're going to try to be physical, the way we line up close together so that now they can't get their arms around guys. Uh, so, you know, uh, as you know, uh, if you were to look at statistics for the year, we're a team that probably has played a fair number of short corners. And we're still always trying to balance out uh, how to do that. You know, we, we think Walker's a threat on corners, but we haven't done well enough yet uh, taking advantage of it. So it's something that we keep working on. Uh, Bob, I'm wondering, uh, since this was the first start for Carlos since he returned from the World Cup, mm -hmm. um, did you get the sense that he's trying to figure out how to play with the likes of Lee and Dio? They haven't really played that much together, in, in, if at all, in competitive action so far. Was this sort of a feeling out process, or do you think that the uh, Timbers defense was more effective on the day? Uh, as I said, when a team defends uh, with five in the back and three tucked in in front, finding space is hard. So uh, I think Carlos's understanding of Lee Dio, having played with them enough in training, uh, I think that part's good. And, uh, you know, as you can see, we tried different ideas. Carlos at times played on the right. Um, then at a certain point, we changed in and let him play play more as a ten. So, you know, we we had different ideas based upon the the way the game was going. And and so for the most part, I think our ideas on what we tried to do were all good. And and look, you have to <laughs> you've got to be good to make a play when the numbers are deep. And and so on the day. You know, one ball got slipped into Diego in a good way, and he tried to take it on his right foot, and maybe he can now let that ball come across and take it on his left foot. And so those kind of things make a difference. And so I, that's where I don't think we were, we were good enough. Uh, Coach, what did you see from the back line, the play from the back line today? And can you just speak on the performance of Tyler Miller, another strong performance in a string? Yeah, Tyler continues to, to gain confidence. Um, and so in a game like this where, um, you know, in stretches we're up the field, his ability then if there is something in transition, you know, early in the game we just made a couple of mistakes. I mean, Benny lost the one ball. I think that was the one that led to the biggest chance, uh, the save that he made with uh, uh, going to his left with his bottom hand, with his left hand. So that's a really good save. Um, so I think that part for him is very good. And, uh, you know, defensively, Laurent Walker, these, uh, when you deal with Valeri and Armateros and, and situations uh, where we're up the field and now there's space behind and, and in transition, you've got a lot of space to deal with. I think they handled it well. Bob, for Wednesday, now that they've played with a five-man back line, do you think they've tipped their hand a little bit for you or do you feel there might be more of a sense of urgency for them since it's a one-off? That would be a question for them, I think. Um, um, look, we've watched them play all their games, and, and they've played probably more with four, but uh, they played against Atlanta with five, so we weren't surprised today. And, uh, you know, the, they're, a, they're a good team. You know, what's it, 13 games in a row that, where they haven't lost? 14, okay. Um, and, and I, you know, I think their way of playing is – is, is pretty clear that, you know, they, they're strong defensively. They're good in transition. Uh, and so th that's the kind of game you expect, whether it's with five in the back uh, or four in the back or whatever, the, the, the way they go about it doesn't change much. So, you know, I think we understand that. Um, how, they, how they go about it for the next game, uh, yeah, we'll be ready for both. Swinging back to the offensive side, you know, you saw Dio and you saw Arania playing together today. A lot of people talked about it's an either or thing, but today they were playing together. How do you think they played together now? And, you know, on Wednesday, do you think we could see that again? No, that, look, that, in the moment, that's not a first choice. That's a way of changing the game. So, you know, that's, that's something that 
we've done a few times in training. Um, our primary way of playing where, you know, we still play with wide attackers. Uh, I think that that's well established. But late in the game, you look for different ways, especially uh, when space is hard to, to find. So that was something that, uh, that we chose um, for the last sub. Uh, could have also been Aaron Kovar and just kind of kept it the same way. So uh, we thought, you know, let's get an extra extra guy in there and maybe one can open up a little room for the other. Bob, uh, with, with regards to width, how, how do you think they challenge your ability to get up there with your, your wide players? Uh, you know, I, I, I think that... At the beginning of the game, when Diego's uh, on the left side, that we got a lot of balls to him. But as I said, a few were on the move in the first half. But then as the half went on, for the most part, he got balls at a standstill. Um, you know, Carlos's movement's going to be different. When, when he plays on the right, there's freedom for him. Uh, and then, you know, when, when we change things around and let Carlos have freedom and then Lee sort of moves a little bit outside, Lee's not, not then a wide player whose job is to just stay out and try to take guys on. He, he mixes things up. But I, I thought in the second half, before we took Benny off, um, that Lee on uh, our left side was finding a good mix between being outside, inside, coming in with the ball on his right foot, um, we were able, in certain cases, to slip some balls to him. Uh, and then the final part of with comes from your outside back. So, you know, I think it, in different moments we were able to do that. So uh, I, I said it earlier. I thought our ideas, uh, we work to try to develop good ideas. I think our ideas on how to attack them were all positive. Uh, in the end, uh, we weren't able to be good enough in the moments that counted. And we go again on Wednesday.